hey guys welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you guys how to make eggplant here we have five eggplant tomatoes this is about six tomatoes we have crayfish we have a full onion chili pepper i have two we have salt we have maggi we have vegetable oil and white pepper and then here we have 10 slices of fish this is coca coca fish so let's get started okay okay our eggplant has been peeled so I cut one into four it has been peeled you peel the eggplant and then the tomatoes six tomatoes has been peeled the onion spice garlic and ginger peeled so what we do now is we'll put the eggplant on the fire So the eggplant is on the stove. We turn the stove on. For me, I'll put it maybe on high. If you like, you can put it on medium high or high. So for me, it's on high. So what I do is I put a little bit of water, just like a, a cup full. Like a cup full. And then I cover it. I put the lid. then I let it cook for 15 to 20 minutes till it's soft our eggplant has been boiling for like 18 minutes now and it's done so what we do is we have to drain the water from the eggplant what I normally do is I use a sieve so drain the water with it so this is how i do it i just go i take like few of it like say few of it take some and put on the sieve okay this is the quantity so what i do is i just Press it down, press it so the water can come out from it. Press, 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 and keep pressing. Sometimes, if you want to do it, you can be pressing while you smash it. Press and smash, press and smash so that you be soft. Press and smash. This is how I do it. It has already been pressed and smashed. Look how it look like. Look how it look like. And then look at the water that comes from it. And then look at the quantity. So you have to when you press, when you smashing when you pressing you smash, so the water can come out from it. So you drain the water. You, it's good to use this little one so you will take out the water. But if you look, use the colander, the big one that has a bigger hose some of this will be coming out from it so this one this is the, the one i'm using the seed so look at the quantity of water that came out from this little thing so that's how you do it so what you do is you repeat the same process till you or you see you're done with the eggplant so i'm still going to smash and drain the water you repeat the same process you see how I'm doing it? See how I'm doing it? Smash and drain. Smash and drain. Smash and drain. Smash and drain. That's how you do it. I put this on the stove so I put the vegetable oil this is like one quarter one quarter cup of vegetable oil then here we have the eggplant that has been mashed and then the water has been drained so when you drain when you're draining the water make sure you're matching so so the water can come out and this is how it looks like it has been matched 
and then we'll allow we'll leave our oil to heat like for a couple of minutes really hot it should be hot the oil has been heated so what I do is I put the onions first and I fry it I'm going to fry this onion first a little while I'm going to fry this onion for a little while So our onion has been cooking for some time now and it's almost like a little bit brownish. So what we do is we add our tomatoes. So what we do is we keep stirring the tomatoes till it's done. So We might cook this tomato for like 10 minutes so that it should be done well done. So I think we'll cook it for like 10 minutes. Our tomato has been cooking for about 7 minutes. So what I do now is I'll add the grind, the blended or garlic and ginger together. I'll put it inside. I think the tomato is almost done, so I put the garlic and ginger so it's hot. You can get ready together. And then I put a little bit too seasonal crepe. That is Maggi. Then I stir it and give it like about three minutes. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, just like half a tablespoon. Keep stirring. Our tomato is almost done. Let's give it about two minutes. So right now I'll put the two chili pepper. I show you guys, guys. That's it. So that in that one minute the thing can get. This will be delicious. Can't wait to take it. Okay. Our tomato is done now. So we need to put our egg now. So what I do first is what I do first. First is I put a cream dish. Just giving a little, a little bit of stir, a little bit of stir, and then I put the eggplant. Okay, then you mix everything together. Guys, okay, look at how it looks like now. delicious so what I do now is I put a little bit of white pepper let's say like a um, teaspoon full and then keep stirring with this eggplant you can have it with with plantains Fried plantain, white plantain. You can have it whatever thing you want. Whatever thing you want. This is so delicious. I can't wait to dig in.
and you can after putting everything and the, the last thing is the white pepper and then you, maybe you can taste and see if the seasoning keep the one I put I put two to see if it's okay by you if it is if it doesn't taste good like if the salt and the cube is not okay you can add more of it so guys right now I'm going to add my fish I'm going to add my fish inside it's fried the fish has been fried and then I mix everything together Okay, let it let leave it cook like for three minutes and we are good to go. Okay guys. Our eggplant is done. Look at how it look like. It's done. So I use fish. You can still use meat, chicken, beef, whatever thing you want to use. It's okay by you. So for me I go with fish. So I can't wait. So please try my recipe and give a thumb up and please don't forget to subscribe thank you